Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out more Peep Show. Hopefully you guys had a fantastic day. All right, dude, we're on the last season of the show. That is wild. We'll be wrapping the show up in a total of six weeks. Count this one. I'm gonna miss the show. Just like I'm gonna miss Only Fools. But we have more Only Fools left than this one. So I know a lot of people waiting for a long show to end so we can vote another long show in. So that's something to look forward to, you know? Another long show. But yeah, man, sucks for Mark. They're supposed to have a romantic getaway. Jazz tagged along. Everything is ruined. Dobby hit that old dusty trail, dude. I don't know if that's it for Dobby or if she's gonna pop up somewhere before the show's over. Really curious about that. Because after things were over between him and Sophie, Sophie he popped up here and there a couple times and then she's just been gone you know so i wonder if the same thing's gonna happen with dobby where he might talk to her a couple times and then she's just gone i don't know man let's just go and jump to this one folks we'll see what happens we'll talk about it more at the end god i'm nervous i haven't seen mark for six months hope he's not Dang. too horrible maybe he'll have forgotten i tried to steal his girlfriend i pretty much have <laughs> I'll never forget you trying to steal my girlfriend, but I won't mention it tonight. Can't ruin Sue Bands' stag. I've reached acceptance. With the aid of a self-help CD I loathe, I've reached acceptance. <laughs> oh my god, there he is. Here we go, Mr. Big, the ex-provider of my cheddar. Relax, no recriminations on the stag. I haven't had a night out for months. No recriminations on the stag. Hello, Jeremy. Mark. Good to see you. Likewise, I'm sure. So, gonna relax this shit out with a lean. Yeah, so, <laughs> how's news? I'm most content. Right? That's good that you're happy. I mean, obviously not that happy, since Dobby moved to New York. Ugh, I did recriminations on the stag. Yeah, right. The elephant man never forgets. Well, this is it. Super hands is stag. Hard hats on. Time to descend into the depths of depravity. No, I expect the, uh, it. The base juice is all paid for, lads. So just choose your fucking additions and let's detox till we've got mega cocks. Oh my god, he's cleaned up for the wedding. Iggy's gone to rehab. Sober hands. <laughs> <laughs> this stag is one load of PG rated uh, Disney ass which hands. magazine approved child proof high vitamin <laughs> fucking <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> At some point soon, it's no. gonna start to Wait, degenerate. In antioxidants. No way we can talk more about juice. See, the thing about juice from most places is you've got all the fiber most of right the away. But if it's been pasteurized, a fuck lot of the micronutrient content's been neutralized. Oh, no. No, I don't think so, love. We're not. Um, do you want to use jokers all of this? Sorry, fam. Wrong table. Uh, unless um, one little sipperoo? No, mate. No. No. Well, just to wet the whistle. It, exactly. <laughs> it's just to wet the whistle. <laughs> Oh no. The look on his face. Let's do what I get. Twirl. Really nice and wet. Mm. That is quite refreshing. Oh! I just wanna fucking <laughs> suck. Fucking suck. Fucking suck, everyone. I no. just wanna fucking suck. Oh, the whole night through. I oh love no. Okay. I love cocaine. <laughs> I'm really passionate about my art, but God you start bless him. here and it's like. When's it gonna happen for me? It's you know? so Probably never. Damn. Hey. What are your actual chances of making a living as an artist? I don't know, like, not very high? Exactly. Not very high. Jez, I wanna go full horrible. Take me to the nasty. All in good time, Hans. This oh is my God. your room. The humidity's actually great for my chest. I mean, it's not That's number so one Hyde Park Palace, but it suits me down to the ground. This is the most pathetic sight known to man. I think yeah. of it as a sunken <laughs> bed. Yeah, yeah, that's probably a good way to think of it. Don't even need to leave the tub. Drink from the tap, and when I need to, just push the bag down, bang, the bog's right there. Just kneel Ooh. and piss directly down the plug hole. That's my system. <laughs> ah, okay. Gross. That's a good system. And you haven't even seen the kitchen. I love it. Clever. Poor You've got Jess. a great setup here. Mm. But it's screwed itself. Toast. <laughs> oh, right, yep, yeah, no problem. No. Would, you, it, would it be a longie or a shorty? No worries, you decide. Cold blood. I felt a bit bad about the other night, so I got you a biscuit. I mean, they call them cookies, but I know you prefer me to call it a biscuit. Uh huh. Um, th the good thing is that, that to get, say, £3,000, you'd pay just 21% APR. Is that yeah, good? Bless them. It's Pretty good, yeah. Mm. Uh, and uh, you'd only need to repay 2% of the capital a month if you want the loan to last 184 years. Three <laughs> grand? Free. Well, it's not quite free. But I get it without having to give you anything. Yes. So, basically, it is free, really. <laughs> yes, you've winkled me out. It is basically free. And the interesting thing about you is that you'd actually Damn, qualify cold, as an F6. That sounds... Good. It's a credit rating, especially for people like you. The terminally ill and criminals who might flee to Thailand. Ooh, <laughs> I've got a credit rating. Yes, you have, Jez. You have. 
And to qualify for this loan, all you need is a reference from a landlord or a former landlord. Would you like to play capitalism? Great. And <laughs> now I'm all signed up. Could we have a chat about no. living arrangements? Yeah, I've moved out of Hanses. So, yeah, I'm considering something really exciting. A night in one of the royal parks. Unless... Homeless Jeremy. No, harden the heart. I'm moving on. Look, Jez, you wouldn't want to live with me and Jerry. We're, we're stick in the muds who like nothing better than watching Civilization with Kenneth Clark whilst eating artichokes and sea bream. No, great. Good, I'll be uh, fine in the park till the loan comes through. Anyway, thanks. There goes the first beat of the butterfly wing that starts the next financial meltdown. Dear. Jez did this to herself, but I still feel bad for him. He's so pitiful. Uh, uh, 6.45. There's a lot of evening, isn't there? Without the goggle box. Maybe we should treat ourselves. Get back to the William Morris documentary. Um, yeah. Brilliant. Ugh, more William Morris. Wallpaper and workers' rights. God, this is like the Dark Ages. Centuries and centuries with nothing to look forward to except the slim possibility a Viking might break down the door and rape me. <laughs> Crush. It's extreme. Crush the candy. So relentless, so satisfying, yet unsatisfying. Like Cleopatra, Candy Crush makes hungry where most she satisfies. <laughs> Crushing candy, quoting Shakespeare, hiding in a toilet of my own home. This is the confused high point of Western civilization. Are you okay in there, Mark? <laughs> oh, uh, fine, thanks, Jerry. It shouldn't be too much longer now. Take your time, mate. I've paused it. Ah! Thought I'd <laughs> killed 20 minutes of Morris, but no! No. I oh, it. hello, Mark. Got time for a chat? Uh, could just shut the door? Maybe you'd better come in. Lovely and warm in here. Oh, God. He's going for the thermostat. I take it you're a 23-degree guy, Terry. Jerry. Whatever. Yes, I am. Mm. Must be awkward for Mark. He's a real 21-degreeer. The Aldi Poirot with his CBBC magnifying glass. 23 versus 21. It's like Israel versus Palestine, isn't it? The endless beef. That's extreme. Really no <laughs> possible compromise. So Mark good. and I often settle on 22. 22. Yeah, good. That's good. Both one degree uncomfortable. <laughs> right. Uh, who wants a nice cup of the king? <laughs> no. <laughs> Jerry said he so doesn't stupid. want coffee. He said he'd make his own later. He said, like he was joking, that your coffee tastes like horse piss, but I don't think he was really joking. Try a bit harder, Jeremy. And then he hit me. He did not. <laughs> Mark, you need to face facts. Jerry's a wanker. Kick him out and kick me back in. Oh, no. No, no reason. Is this the Dobby thing? No. no. But is it? Of course it's the fucking Dobby thing. I knew it! You tried to profess your love to my girlfriend, who I was trying to propose to. You fucked up my life. So? What do you want me to do? I want you to apologize. Fine. Just do Obviously, it. Obviously, I think we're both very sorry about what happened. No doubt. No. I'm really, really sorry, Mark. Say it <laughs> Jeremy. I'm sorry. No, nope. yes. All right, fine. I admit I shouldn't have come on your picnic. And? What? Look, I'm sorry, all right? Finally. And if you like, I'll lay it on with a trowel and tell you how I like you. Oh, Jesus, he's going to say he loves me. You. And no. even... Apology accepted. <laughs> well, thank you. Come on, Mark. We're into Kelmscott Manor on the Icelandic landscape. Maybe I do sometimes wonder about Jerry, but I've made my bed, so I've just got to... Well, maybe I can help with that. We have no choice. No, I can live in a sour atmosphere. Well, I can't. Yes, you bloody can. Tough. <laughs> I'm going to go to my bedroom now, and I'll be coming and going as I please. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. They just a lot in the new season. Was it like the fifth time? Litvinenko. Kill him with polonium. Not full Litvinenko. Just. A little bit of something debilitating in his pastor each night. Grind him down, weaken him till he's all pathetic, and you can just scoop him up like a sick whippet and dump him. Um... You might quite like tending him as he grows weaker and weaker. Here's your tea, Jerry. God, you must get better soon. This is crazy. Do sit up, Jerry. 
while I spoon you some more of this slightly silvery porridge. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Should I keep my voice down? No, he's an irritatingly sound sleeper. Earplugs and eye mask, the full blot. Well, we could start by just moving his stuff out. No, no, we couldn't. Could we? Okay, we're nearly there. Last two. This doesn't feel good. It's fine, Mark. It's like a prank. Oh, you still have to look at this dude How's at work, man. Cleansing going. Hands. I thought it might be a good idea to have some backup. I owe Jez. He took a bullet for me. You, your pure chrome dildo, solid. Okay, everything's out. What now? We could tie him to a hot air balloon, and he would drift away out of the window. Um... You like that? The hot air balloon? Or <laughs> punch him? No. Man, something look at me for? You punch him. Maybe you could sit on him, intimidate him. Yeah. <laughs> Fart in his face. Psychological warfare. Yeah, grind him down. Attack his beliefs. Yeah. That. Plus we fart. What is this? Farty Guantanamo? <laughs> no, I, I, th I think we have to wake him up. Just tell him to leave, like men. Or oh, he is sort of bagged for our convenience. Hmm. What? We could just bag him up and sling him out. I'm definitely going to agree to this. I just need to put up an acceptable level of objection so I can be all reproachful if it proves to be a disaster, which it almost certainly will. <laughs> No way, no. God bless him. Okay, but on your heads be it. Baggy man's. Oh, my excited hands is. Ah! Ah! Hey! <laughs> hey, 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 hey! He's bagged. You fucking... What's going on? Sorry, pal. You are surplus to requirements. Put him out. I I'm sorry, Jerry. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Hey, Jess, hey. I thought you were going to grab the other end. That's the normal way. The normal way. Yeah, None of this is normal. <laughs> I've got a verbal contract. He doesn't. You don't, Jerry. Yes, I do. Small claims court. I I'm not part of this, Jerry. Put him in the lift, Hans. The lift? <laughs> Fucking hell. You got a wheelbarrow. Why are you doing this, Mark? I want to read my Napoleon correspondence and watch oh. Storage Hunters. Does that make me a bad person? Don't put me in the lift. Stop wriggling. Should I give him a kick? Don't, don't kick him. Do not kick me. Jerry, stay I'm still. This will all be over soon. I'm being oh, no. All good here. It's just a prank. It's high jinx. We're the Croydon Bullingdon. It's not a prank. Shush, Jerry. I'm calling the police. Shut it or you're getting waterboarded. Do not bloody waterboard me. I warned you. Waterboard. <laughs> <laughs> this is horrible. Yeah, Jeez, the man. Seriously. You need to take a look at yourself. <laughs> In he goes. This is against the Geneva God bless him. This is terrible. I'm back, baby. The bitch is back. Bye, Jerry. See you at work tomorrow. <laughs> I was thinking about that. Like, what are you going to do at work, bro? All right, dude. Go start the season eight. It was very goofy, very fun. Uh, I was surprised when Super Hines was like doing all the juice in his stuff. I'm like, there's no way. This dude actually cleaned up. But then it made sense when he was drinking so much juice because remember he did the same thing when he went cold turkey last time. He just eat a bunch of candy and stuff, I think it was. Then he went for a run. He started jogging and stuff. Like he overdid everything. So it makes sense. And Jess' life was looking pretty pitiful, dude. Sipping in the bathroom and stuff, man. That looked pretty bad. I was feeling bad for him. You know, Jess did it to himself. He did screw Mark over. He did show up on a picnic that he was supposed to propose to Dobby on and all that stuff. And Dobby said it was like a defining moment if she was gonna take the job or not yeah man not good not good at all i forgot a couple of you guys told me this season was shot like a couple years later it's weird i'm talking about twitter youtube and stuff like that so i have to look up the exact dates i know you guys told me this was shot later some years down the line or i think somebody said two or three years down the line i can't remember for sure you can definitely tell the difference and it was a lot of the like intermission things transitions i forgot what those are called where you know a commercial break we usually be at i think it's about five or six of those i don't know i'm not sure it's like it popped up a lot and i was thinking about that the whole time but oh boy i was like what are you gonna do when you go out to work with a butt like what are you gonna do uh, you screwed dude man that talk for six months dude they're cold-blooded bringing a beer to the table jacking super hands up man i wonder what's gonna happen i wonder if he's gonna continue to do drugs so like that and he's gonna ruin a relationship with his girl if they're not gonna get married or something but it's the last season they might not have time for something like that he might still get married i don't know all right guys and that is it that is all for this one hopefully you guys are happy safe and healthy i'll see you in the next one later